think we've reached that point in the evening where we should leave before anything crazy happens. The movie Overnight, it takes place literally overnight, but how long was filming? Well, not that much longer than overnight. Right? <laughs> 11 nights. Oh, so it was a really, really fast one then. Yeah, well, that was, yeah. it was 11, it was yeah. 11, and then plus two days of the outside. Yeah, right. We did the entire, the entire movie in 11 days. Do you prefer a shorter shoot like that, or do you like a longer, more elaborate shoot for a movie? Um, I guess this was perfect for this film. Yeah. You know, and I think it's in the movie. You can mm -hmm. feel we really shot at night. I think we w our acting would have been different if we, were, if we were actually shooting days, pretending it's the night. We were in this mood, you know? Right, it's very right. realistic. Right, of course. I mean, I, I figured it was at night, but you never know these days yeah. with uh, 3D or, or one of the like, green screen stuff like that. Um, so we are a college campus. What would be your craziest night that you can remember, either from college or just in general? I don't think I can share that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> Same with you. Uh, well, I graduated when I was 15. Okay. So I don't have a lot of right, right, stories right. except, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was raised in France and I one day brought my rat to school okay. in my pocket uh, and my coat. And so I had a rat that I loved and I just wanted him to share, you know, school experience. So I brought the rat to school. Did, did anyone know you had this rat in your pocket? I mean, my friends knew I had this rat with this huge tail, you know, and it goes like a, a it goes around your wrist, you know, it's like it has this tail that goes Ooh, like a snake yeah, around you. Sure. Yeah. Oh. So and that that's like this. I'm sorry. I'm just like. You know, no, did <laughs> this the, did is other my students see this? Uh, the other student, yeah, knew and like we're checking checking him out, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Um, so sometimes uh, in films, the directors or producers have the cast like live together for like a month or so just so they could get a, a better rapport with each other. Did that happen with you guys? Because you have scenes you have to be very comfortable with each other. No? We barely knew each other. We just had met once. Mm -hmm. I think so. We yeah. had like one dinner. Yeah. Dinner. And I, we had a di like a cast dinner and then there was a, I, I think I, I had lunch with Adam once. Okay. So. You know, very, very casual. And when, when this film was brought up to you guys, what initially drew you to the script and to this idea? I was really intrigued by the broad, such funny stuff <laughs> that was happening in it and how it was paired with this writing that was so emotionally um, clear and honest and like this story of these people that felt so um, uh, honest. You know, this, the relationship between Alex and Emily felt um, just so authentic, mm -hmm. a, like a, a, a couple really trying to make things work. And so that paired with the wildness of the humor, I it was kind of something I hadn't really seen before. It was very sweet. It's a very unique uh, premise also, you don't see too often. Yeah, that's for sure. And lastly, really quickly, what would be your biggest advice for students entering the entertainment industry? Um, you th love it. I think it's really love it. it I think for, in my experience, um, it has to be, in my experience, not about the result and really about loving what you do because mm -hmm. that, that's what you can keep falling back on. Same for you, yeah? I would say to cultivate your difference. That's a good one. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys very much.